Number 20, identify the atoms that are oxidized and reduced. We need to know the change in the oxidation state for each, and then find the oxidizing and the reducing agents in each of the following equations. And now we have letter C out of the bunch. So we need to find out which atoms, whether it's carbon, hydrogen, or oxygen, so you only got three answers, which one of those is being oxidized or which one is being reduced. So let's just start from there. Now, if they're asking for identifying the atoms, just know that they're really asking for the elements. So is carbon the one being oxidized? Is hydrogen the one being oxidized? Or is oxygen being the one that's being oxidized? Or which one is being reduced? In order to find this out, we need to find those states. So the, the, the best thing that you guys can do is just take a little bit of time. Once you get practice with this, it will be a breeze. But go from left to right and figure out all of the individual charges of each individual atom throughout the uh, equation. Okay? So I'll maybe do a little bit of the work over here to start off with. Okay? So let's just start from left to right. Let's do C2... H4. Now, star this one because this is a organic compound. This is a hydrocarbon. So the rules of crisscrossing is going to be a little bit different. Okay. Now, same exact idea here, what we've been doing. You take those subscripts, the two and the four in this case, and crisscross them back up. This two technically told me that hydrogen was a negative two, right? Technically speaking, um, the negatives in the back, the, the, the guy in the back, the charge in the back is always the negative. And the four crisscrosses back up to tell me that carbon was the plus four. However, that's why I start this because hydrogen only can be a positive charge when it's with only non-metals. So this one, star this one up, because even though negatives technically are supposed to be in the back, not in this case. The hydrogen should be the plus two, and the carbon should be the negative four. So I'm just going to put that over here. So this should be the negative four, and this should be a plus two. So that's the first thing. So C was a negative four, and H was a plus two. However, now we just check our trend to just make sure that we have one of the elements that's a trend. But mm, H being a plus two, uh -uh, right? H wants to be a plus one, especially when it's with nonmetals. Now remember, this is a covalent compound. Covalent compounds never get simplified. So that's why we have to do the simplifying here. What am I going to do to this plus 2 to get it down to a plus 1? I'll just divide by 2, right? But whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So in this case, the carbon was a negative 2 and the hydrogen was a plus 1. Now we put those charges over here. So the C was a negative 2, the H was a plus 1. The next atom we have is oxygen, right? It's just O2. And this is just little old oxygen by itself. There's two of them, so this is a diatomic. And remember, diatomics are always neutral. They have a zero charge. There's no charge in the upper right-hand corner, so it is zero. Now moving on to CO2. Let's maybe do it over here. CO2. Use those subscripts to crisscross, right? There was one carbon and two oxygens. So this one now tells me that the oxygen was a negative one charge. And now the, the rule goes back. This two crisscrosses up telling me that the carbon was a plus two. So right now we have C being a plus two and O being a minus one. However, go back to the trend. Oxygen wants to be a negative two, not a negative one. So we have to do a little bit of work. What should I multiply this by to get a negative two? 
yeah, a two, right? But you got to be fair. Whatever you multiply to that oxygen, you got to multiply to the carbon. So this would really be a plus four, and this would be a minus two. And those are your charges here. So carbon was a plus four. Oxygen was a negative two. <clears throat> now, let's do it over here for H2O. Use those subscripts. Two hydrogens, one oxygen, right? The two crisscrosses up telling me that oxygen is a negative two, and the one crisscrosses up telling me that H was a plus one, and this one is actually good, right? H is a plus one. We saw that hydrogen wants to be a plus one, and O was a negative two. So that's good. So plus one, negative two. Okay. That's the hardest part, guys. Now we just answer the questions. Let's see what atom or element is oxidized or reduced. In order to figure that out, we have to see which one's changed from reactant to product. Let's see. This carbon was a negative two charge. It became a plus four. That's a change, so I'm gonna write it down. Carbon went from a negative two to a plus four. Okay, let's keep moving. Hydrogen was a plus one, and it stayed a plus one. Was there any char uh, change? No, so who cares? Get rid of it. Oxygen was a zero, and it turned into a negative two, as well as a negative two. It's the same number though, right? So I can just group this up by saying oxygen started off by being a zero charge and it became a negative two. Okay, now these are the charges, negative two to a plus four, zero to negative two. Let's figure out which one was oxidized, which one was reduced. Know the mnemonic Leo the lion says Gur. L-E-O, Leo, loss of electrons is always oxidation. When you lose electrons, right, electrons are negative. So if you lose electrons, you're actually becoming more positive. You lose electro you lose negatives, you gain positives. So if you're becoming more positive, you're undergoing oxidation. Gain of electrons, you're being reduced. Gain of electrons, gaining negatives, you're becoming more negative. So let's see here. From a negative two to a plus four, right? What was the change? Did you become more positive or did you become more negative? You became more positive, right? So this has to be oxidation. So the atom that was oxidized, oxidized was carbon. So that answers that. Did I spell oxidize wrong? Ugh, I'm still, I'm still a little bit under the weather, guys. Oxid, oh my goodness. That's right, oxidized, yeah, okay. So on the flip side, if carbon was the one that was oxidized, the atom that was reduced was uh, uh, oxygen. But we can kind of check that out. Oxygen went from a zero to a negative two. It became more negative. Now, how many electrons did each one gain or lose, right? Just think of it as a number line. How many numbers does it take to go from a negative two to a positive four, right? If negative two is over here, I gotta go to negative one, zero, one, two, three, and four. That's a total of six jumps, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So in this case, did you lose six electrons or did you gain six electrons? Oxidation is always a loss of electrons. So you lost six electrons, each carbon did, and then each oxygen, envision it on a number line from zero to negative two, that's two jumps. And reduction is gaining electrons, so you gained. Uh, two electrons. Each oxygen gained two electrons. Okay, so that answers the first part. Identify the atoms that are oxidized and reduced. 
Carbon was oxidized, oxygen was reduced. The change in oxidation state for each, that's this. This whole idea of going from a negative 2 to a plus 4 for carbon and going from a 0 to a negative 2 for oxygen. Now we just have to identify the oxidizing and the reducing agents. Now here's the thing. If you're asking for oxidizing or reducing agents, you are only allowed to uh, have your compound in the reactant side. So any type of agent, and maybe I'll put it over here. If they're asking for an agent, whether it's an ox agent or reduction agent, it's always the reactants. So this can't be an answer and this can't be an answer. And you have two answers now. One is going to be the oxidizing agent and the other one's going to be the reducing agent. And let me just change this over here. Oxid it should be oxidizing and reducing. So just know the one that's undergoing oxidation really is the reducing agent. The compound is the reducing agent. The atom that's undergoing reduction came from the compound that was the oxidizing agent. So since this carbon was the one that was being oxidized, the whole compound, C2H4, is the reducing agent. And then the same thing. Oxygen was the one that was being reduced. So this O was being reduced, which means that the whole compound or molecule that it's part of, which was O2, that's the oxidizing agent. So I can just write that down over here. C2H4, since it came from the carbon that was being oxidized, is the reducing agent. And then on the flip side, O2, since the oxygen was reduced, this is the oxidizing agent. And that's it. Whew, guys, what do you think? A lot of stuff here, but basically we're ask, answering a lot of questions just based off of knowing those charges. And that's it. So just make sure to get all the charges, put them all at the top, and then everything is going to come, come to you guys, okay? You guys got this. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope that it helped. If it did, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, you know, do whatever, do whatever you got to do. And I thank you for that. But also, I hope you have an awesome day. Keep studying hard, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.